For years, the LSU Tigers had been on the doorstep of greatness with some of the best players in college football putting on the purple and gold in Baton Rouge. But since Nick Saban left in 2004 and became the head coach for their arch rival, the Alabama Crimson Tide, the Tigers had been unable to accomplish the ultimate goal and climb to the top of the college football mount until 2019 when they had three up-and-coming superstars who burst onto the scene with their five-star QB transfer Joe Burrow and two dynamic dynamic young receivers in Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. The three of them led the 2019 Tigers to go undefeated winning the national championship on their way to becoming arguably the greatest college offense we have ever seen. So I recreated this LSU offense in NCAA football revamp and we have to recreate their season and in order to do this we have to accomplish three goals with the first going undefeated on our way to winning the national championship just like those 2019 Tigers. Then we have to beat the yards and touchdowns for the three big LSU stars. Then lastly, in 2019, Burrow took home the Heisman Trophy, so we need to cap to the Heisman also to cap off this season. Game one of the season starts with an out-of-conference game against the super underrated TCU Horned Frog. And in the first quarter, we actually get down to fourth and 10 before we are able to hit Jamar Chase streaking down the field for a huge score, giving us the first touchdown of the year. Then right before half, we drive down, get to the one yard line and we fire it into Jefferson to go up eight at half. Then this was a back and forth affair and it's 14 all in the third quarter when Burrow escapes from the pocket and delivers this frozen rope into Terrence Marshall for the score to go up seven. Then we get the ball back late in the fourth, a minute left and it's third and 25 and we are able to hit this huge strike down the field to Justin Jefferson for an absolutely massive play. Then the very next play we fired into Jamar Chase on a post over the middle and we were inside the five with 40 seconds left in the game. But with seven seconds left on the clock, we check it down to the flats and we get tackled at the one yard line and we are going into overtime. But luckily in OT, we were able to do a jet sweep to Chase and he was able to punch it in and we were able to take home the victory against TCU and give us a 1-0 start to the season. Then in game two, we play a completely overmatched UAB squad and this was an absolute fireworks show. And Burrow was throwing darts all over the field to give us a 57-14 to victory. Then in week three, we had another overmatched opponent in Kent State and we boat race them once again. And so far, the trio of Jefferson, Burrow, and Chase are absolutely on fire lighting up college football. Then rolling to the start of our SEC schedule, and we start with Auburn, and we hung 42 on the board, airing it out all over the yard and putting on a show with the duo of Chase and Jefferson just running roughshod all over defenders, proving that this dynamic duo could light up SEC defenders. But now for the first test of the season, the LSU Tigers are going on the road to play the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. But to start at the game, we already had a great drive going and we're able to march down to deliver strikes all over the field and take the ball down to the three yard line before punching it in to go up seven. And from that point on, we took it to him with Burrow absolutely picking them apart with an incredible six touchdown passes on the day, dicing up the number one team in the country. This performance put the rest of the nation on notice and nobody was going to take these LSU Tigers lightly anymore. Then getting into the meat of the SEC schedule and we had two straight opponents who were middling schools. First we went to Mississippi State and put up 49 on the board with Chase and Jefferson getting open down the field and leaving these corners in the dust and Burrow broke the school record with 556 passing yards. Then to wrap it all up we welcomed the Gators to Death Valley and after wrapping up this game with another 45 points on offense the Tigers shot up to the number sixth ranked team nationally and there was little doubt left that they were natty contenders but there was still a ton of hurdles left in the way. Next up for the Gators was a huge test, heading to Ole Miss to take on the number 13th ranked Rebels, and to start the game, Burrow drops back, and Chase busts free over the middle, and he hits him in stride, and Chase turns on the afterburners, then back on Owen, and the Tigers drive down, and Burrow finds Chase in the back corner for another TV strike. Then back on Owen, Burrow is trying to put this game on ice early, but he throws it into coverage, and Ole Miss is going the other way with the football, and Ole Miss is able to score and cut this lead down to seven. But then Burrow comes right out
out once again and leads another spectacular drive where he hits Chase for his third TD catch of the half and the boys are on fire. Then first play after half and Chase is able to bust free for another 70 yard touchdown, letting him grab his fourth TD of the game. And he is absolutely sunning this old Miss secondary. Once again, this Tigers offense looks borderline unstoppable. So at this point in the year, we are 8-0 and, and we have jumped from unranked all the way up to the number three ranked team in the nation. And we are well on our path to making the national championship. Then stats wise, here's where the big three sit and where they need to get to by the end of the year. So we are well on our way to smashing through all of these marks. Then doing a Heisman check-in and we are starting to pull away from the field with Burrow and Chase being one and two in the polling. And if we keep this up, one of them should take home the award. But there is no rest for the Tigers as they head on the road to Tuscaloosa to take on their arch rival, the Crimson Tide, who have had their number four years. But if we wanted to be serious title contenders, we had to rip this Bama monkey off our back. Starting on offense, and we go right down, fire this strike into Chase for a big pickup. Then we get down to the one yard line and punch it in to go up seven. Then Bama is able to tie this up at 7-7 seven, seven, and we get the ball back. But once again, Jamar Chase is uncoverable. He gets in behind the defense for a 60 yard touchdown, showing that this young man is ready for the big time. Then Bama marches down to tie it up once again, then coming out on O and Burrow tries to force this ball in and the Tide pick it off and are going the other way. And they have a shot to put a stranglehold on this game. But the Tigers come up big with the stop and get the ball back on their own 20. Burrow drops back and Jefferson is streaking down the middle of the field and Burrow hits him in stride for a massive pickup down the field. Then right after that, he hits Jefferson one more time in along the sideline as he, and he is able to score just before the half, giving the Tide the seven point lead at the break. Then in the second half, it was all Tigers with Burrow and Jefferson hooking up again and again for big strikes leading to a 42-14 final. And at this point, it seems like nobody will be able to contain this trio from taking over college football and rewriting the record books. Then wrapping up the end of this SEC schedule with two under 500 teams, with the first being Texas A&M and Chase and Jefferson once again are just too much for these defenders to handle, completely overpowering the Aggies on the way to a 59-14 win. Then the Razorbacks came to town and Burrow was lights out, delivering strikes all over the field and wrapping up the SEC, being an incredible 12-0, showing they might be the greatest offense we have ever seen. Now moving on to the SEC championship and it all comes down to this. We are playing the number three ranked, one loss, Georgia Bulldogs. Their only loss coming at our hands earlier in the year and the winner of this game will book their ticket to the national championship. We are starting with the ball and we have a great drive going. We are moving the ball all over the Bulldogs and we get it inside the 10 yard line before Chase breaks off from the corner and is wide open in the back of the end zone to put us up seven rip. Then we are able to stop the dogs and we get the ball back and we find Jefferson streaking down the sideline and we fired into him for a huge pickup and the Tigers are rocking to start this game. Then inside the five and we rip out the triple option with Burrow and Jefferson and we flip it out to him and he dives in to put us up 14-0 at the end of the first quarter. But then through the second quarter and we really got nothing going and the Bulldogs are able to score to be down seven. And to start the third quarter, Burrow tries to take a deep shot and gets picked off. Georgia comes down with the football and we have ourselves a ball game. Then the dogs go right down the field and score once again and it's all up to Burrow. He needs a great drive to send the Tigers to the ship. They are moving the rock and he hits Chase as he breaks out for a nice gain to get over midfield and then Burrow escapes from the pocket, shows his mobility before sliding deep into Georgia territory with under three minutes left in the game. Then getting inside the five and Clyde is able to punch this ball in with two minutes left to give the Tigers the late lead. Then to end the game, LSU is able to run the rock, the clock goes to zero, and the Tigers win and are one game from winning the national championship and stamping their name in the record book. Then here it is, the national championship. And the Tigers are trying to waltz into the history books with only one team left standing in their way. First drive and the Tigers get a safety to go up 2-0, then out on offense and Burrow finds a streaking Jefferson deep down the field for a huge game. Then a few plays later, he drops back and 
finds Chase over the middle who hurdles his way into the end zone for a huge touchdown to go up 9-0 in the first quarter. Then it's 9-3 and Burrow sees Chase with his step on the DB and he lets it fly. It's an absolute strike hitting Chase in stride or a walk in bomb. Then moving into the fourth quarter and LSU is once again moving the ball and Burrow escapes, sees a streaking Chase and drops it into the bucket for a huge gain inside the five yard line. Then Burrow flips it out to Jefferson. He hurdles his way into the end zone and the Tigers are putting the ultimate stamp on their magical season. Just letting the rock fly all over the yard with, with the Tar Heels having really no answer to possibly the greatest trio we have ever seen grace the field in the college football world and they end it off with another flip to Jefferson who dives into the end zone with zeros on the board and that is it. The Tigers win the natty with a 14-0 record putting up mind-numbing stats and throwing their name into the ring as the greatest team of all time. So to wrap this season up and looking at our goals, we were able to win the national championship, finishing the number one ranked team in the nation and being undefeated. So we completed that goal. Then statistically, we were able to beat the yards and touchdown marks for all three of Chase, Burrow, and Jefferson smashing the record book with Burrow coming second. So even though technically Burrow didn't win the award, I'm still going to say mission accomplished. So what did you think of this video? What changes would you like to see for the next team we do? And what historical team do you want to see? next.